you can be self-motivated for so long. Sometimes you just need that pat on the back, even if it's from yourself, by buying yourself something. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dudu back at it again with another banging video. In today's video, as you already see by the title, I am going to be telling you guys how I stay motivated during uni and basically tips on how you could also stay motivated during your uni, school or even work. So I'm going to be giving you guys 10 of those amazing tips and I always do these things when I'm feeling a bit down or like I find myself spiraling during schoolwork and you know things like that so I really think that you're gonna find these 10 tips very useful before we get into this video I want to say wow you guys this channel is growing and it is glowing and I am so grateful for each and every one of you that have subscribed to my channel so if you are new to my channel hi my name is Dudu and thank you so much for subscribing and if you are not already subscribed to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to join this amazing amazing growing and glowing channel so with that being said let's get straight in today's video so tip number one is to get organized listen like if you have a lot going on and you don't organize yourself you are going to get overwhelmed spiral and not get anything done so it's very important to get yourself organized and what i usually do is to make lists you guys lists are the best thing that have ever happened to me lists all day every day list for the week list for the day and I feel like making lists really helps me get things done and you know if you write down everything you need to get done on the day you don't have a moment during the day when you're like oh what should I be doing and if you don't you kind of like have so much but you don't really know what to do so yeah I really do recommend making lists and make realistic lists don't write the whole syllabus on one of your lists to do in one day be realistic know what you can do know what you can handle and put it down on a list and try it out if you're not used to lists just start off with a few things things that you know you are going to be able to do on that one day and start adding things bit by bit and trust me lists are the best I know this because sometimes I go without using lists and I just find myself not doing anything and so yeah make yourself some lists tip number two is try to do as much as you can in the beginning of the week i don't know if it's just me but in the beginning of the week i'm so motivated i have so much energy and i i feel like i, I can conquer the world basically so if you have that kind of energy make sure you go for it that monday tuesday wednesday try and do as much as you can whenever you have the energy just do what you can so that you maximize on that you know that energy and you know it's inevitable that towards the end of the week you're going to you know get tired and you're not going to be able to do anything and so make sure you really maximize on that you know beginning of the week energy tip number three this is kind of linked to tip number two and that is whenever you feel that wave of energy jump on it i don't know how to explain this but you guys you know when you're just feeling energetic and you're feeling like i can do this right now but sometimes in your head you have that thing that's saying no but i'll just do it you know on thursday afternoon and then thursday afternoon comes and you don't really feel like doing it so whenever you think and feel like doing something just do it you will thank yourself later trust me i always do that and i'm like oh my god thank goodness because i do not want to do that right now and i'm so grateful so whenever you feel that wave of productivity guys just jump on it and Another thing linked to this is if you never feel waves of productivity, but you kind of, you know, you have that thing in your head. Sometimes I feel like the mind and the body are disconnected. The mind wants to do something, but your body is like a bit lazy. I trick myself. I do not explain this, but just trick yourself. If you have like a quiz, I always just open up my quiz you know and now like i'm forced to do it because i have no choice but because i've opened it and i always get it done and i'll always do well so if you have problems you know getting that push that energy but there's that little voice in your head just kind of trick yourself just get it done if you stand up and you've been wanting to do something and you you kind of think but i wanted to do that at that time just force yourself to do it and forcing yourself to do things sometimes helps you get into the kind of like rhythm of being productive Tip number four is to switch it up. And what I mean by this is 
if it's your environment if you've been working in the same place for such a long time chances are you know your mindset is no longer you know you're not excited to work in that place anymore so switch it up change your environment or if you've been working with the same routine switch it up because a routine works for so long and sometimes you have to change it and it's very important to identify the point at which your routine is no longer working for you i personally switch up my routine like every three weeks not that like i, I can't to say okay it's three weeks i'm switching but like after three weeks i can see that okay this is no longer working for me and it took me some time obviously because there's certain things that i was doing in like first semester you know first few weeks and i was doing so great and i was thriving off of them and it took me time to realize that okay I need to switch it up every now and again because my mind gets tired like I don't know what it is but sometimes a routine is once it's a routine you kind of get tired of it if that makes sense so do something for I don't know how long you can take routines for do it switch it up try something different just to get yourself excited and going and you know keep being productive tip number five if you've you know you've tried out lists you've tried to reset and things are still not working out for you remember every now and again you need to reset you need to you know revive yourself take a day off you know pamper yourself do what you like doing whether it's you know watching movies watching a series um just do what you want to do on that one day and resetting is not always a thing that you need to do you know after three weeks after a month you can reset every single day at the end of the day when i'm doing well when i'm in a good mood you know i stretch and that's a form of resetting you know kind of like you know taking a step back relaxing my body so the next day i'm ready i'm awake and i'm you know ready to take the day on and again resetting doesn't have to be at the end of the day in the middle of your day when you're feeling you know tired unproductive just stand up get you a nice coffee or drink or whatever it is that you like to do dance just take very effective breaks that help you kind of get back into working you don't want to just work full on and tire yourself because you're just gonna make yourself more tired and then you keep piling on the work the work the work and not taking breaks tip number six that is fix your sleeping schedule listen i am also very guilty when it comes to sleeping schedules because i've had my moments my my sleep at 2 3 a.m wake up at 11 times and that is not good and i don't mean you know wake up at 5 a.m because frankly we are not all 5 a.m clubbers we we all have different waking up times that are effective for us and for our bodies so just find your sleep routine your sleep sleep pattern that works for you whether it's waking up at seven every day eight every day but you have to have some kind of routine and where you wake up feeling productive and you know having the energy don't wake up at 10 every day and say that's your routine but you wake up at 10 when you're dead tired so yeah what i've what i actually personally do is from monday morning i try wake up at 7 a.m now i don't mean every single day i'm going to be able to wake up at 7 a.m but that kind of reset which takes me back to the previous point that kind of reset helps me you know start off my week with energy and enthusiasm and you know i wake up at seven on monday and tuesday and wednesday come thursday i don't promise i'm gonna wake up at 7 a.m but you know I, every single week i do have my very early days and then towards the end of the week i get tired i start working up at 8 8 30 but obviously i don't take it too late but still it's very important to kind of have you know your time where you know seven i want to wake up even if you're gonna wake up at 7 30 8 ish as long as you kind of have that set time tip number seven clean your working area i don't know how to this i don't know what it is about the environment that you work in but it really does affect your productivity and how you you generally act throughout your day so if you want to be productive you know have that clean mindset that energetic you know i'm ready to take on the world take on the day make sure you work in a clean area and trust me even doing the actual cleaning is therapeutic so make sure you clean wherever you are working if you're working in a nice place you're probably going to be motivated to actually go and sit there you know and work there whenever you look around you're like yes i'm working you know what i mean but yeah i think it's really important to actually do clean up your area you're gonna feel 10 times more productive 10 times more motivated you won't feel like you're out of place you know if you're in a dirty place or like in a messy place you're you you're kind of waiting to leave and that's not how you want your work area to be so make sure you always have your desk organized don't have too many books on your desk which is one thing i've also noticed 
noticed when I have too much going on on my desk, I can't even think. I'm like, you know, what's going on? Just have your one book, your pencil holder or if your pencils or whatever it is that you use and you know just keep it simple tip number eight now listen this is very important if you are not a self-motivated person this is to reward yourself we all i mean you can you can be self-motivated for so long sometimes you just need that pat on the back even if it's from yourself by buying yourself something so i think it's really important you know to reward yourself once in a while because sometimes you keep working you keep working and you're not really getting anything back and so it's really important to kind of like reward yourself whether it's you haven't been playing video games for so long i don't know then just go on a one day video game thing every end of the week or something like that probably don't do that but a few hours or whatever uh, or buy yourself something at the end of the week i don't know what it is that you like doing take a really long walk just do something that you will look forward to every end of the week or every end of the day as a reward to yourself to make you, you know, excited to get through things so that you can get to that point. Do you know what I mean? Tip number 10. Listen, this is life changing. This was so amazing for me. I didn't even realize this would work on me because I was like, what is it? Positive affirmations. And not only positive affirmations, like quotes or bible verses just write a quote or bible verse or an affirmation on your whiteboard or wherever you can see it listen don't put it on your phone i'm telling you you need to see it every single day and this has helped me so much in the past i think three weeks yeah i use bible verses so i have like my whiteboard and i put a bible verse on there it's right above my desk so during the day this one day especially i was sitting there and i was so tired and i was like i can't do this i'm tired and i looked up and it told me there be strong and courageous you can do this blah blah, blah. and so it's very important to write things that motivate you on the wall where you can see them because it almost feels like it's like past you talking to you do you know what i mean because when you wrote them you obviously knew i'll need this so now when you are like three days later and you're struggling and you look up and you see you're like okay i really believed in myself or you know god believes in me whatever it is that is very important i think and don't be skeptical just try it out you'd be surprised i was surprised this is why i even have it in, in my top 10 country. and finally a bonus tip this, this is not even a tip it's just a really cute reminder that you are only human don't try and conquer the world in one day and do everything in one day or like stress yourself out in one day at the end of the day you're only human i literally have to remind myself this every single day because i get stressed and i feel like you know i'm losing it but i'm only human and there's only so much i can do at a certain time life is not a sprint it is a marathon and this is what i find out every single day so just take it easy you know take it at your own pace do what you know you can don't fall behind just try your best every single time your best is always good enough so you guys i completely forgot but in my intro i actually have it written underneath my name taking life one day at a time and that is basically what i'm trying to say in this entire section of the video so yeah just calm down take life one day at a time that is what i'm doing so that is it for today's video you guys i really do hope you enjoyed it i really hope this kind of motivated you because i definitely know that i am going to be back at this video in three weeks when i'm feeling demotivated and i don't really know what to do and these tips really definitely do help i can attest to that this is what i do i did not just find this on the internet i sat down and i thought about okay so what happens when i'm feeling this way how do i usually you know deal with it what do i usually do what keeps me going and things like that so yeah i really hope you guys did find these useful and you know you take one two three or even ten of them into your routine or lifestyle or whatever it is and if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye